everybody, good morning. This is Jean, Jean True Love from True Love Quotes for You. I'm coming to you with part two of my photos and the videos that I have um, from the day that I spent all by myself um, without my friend Jen at the quilt show, um, the Pennsylvania Extravaganza Quilt Show in Oaks, Pennsylvania, which was on September se uh, 16th, the Friday. Um, I'm uploading some pictures for part two that I hadn't put on to part one, if you've missed that. Um, that was the best of show and some quilts that I had admired so much. There were hundreds of them, obviously. I couldn't, I could have I could have videoed and photographed them all, but it would have been a 10 part video, right? Um, so the, those of you, quite a few people have said, I've never been to a quilt show and thank you so much for videoing. Um, I wish I could have taken a picture of all the beautiful, beautiful quilts. It was just so lovely. I'm just going to be putting up a few bit, bits of me. Um, I was by myself, so I'm sort of going like this with the camera, um, with the photographs and of the quilts. Um, and I'm just going to be narrating. I hope I'm going to, uh, I'm going slow. Actually, it's really funny with the video camera. Um, you're thinking you're going very slow. I have such a problem with flashing images. So I'm thinking, I'm literally going like this with the camera. And it's not, it's still not slow enough. Sometimes, you know, they're, the, the, the images will joggle and I'm sorry about that. I would really just literally almost be like this to, to video. Um, videographers. I'm no videographer. I'm no expert. Um, trying to figure it out on my editing software. It's just me doing it. Um, so thank you very, very much. Update. Jen um, is okay still. She is isolating away from Ben because he has, um, he's now has a fever. He's not doing all that great. Um, our prayers and best wishes are with our friend Ben. Um, but the rest of the family so far is okay and they appreciate all your love. Um, what else? Uh, not a lot else. I just, I just am going to put this up. This is part two of the rest of the, the um, videos that I had taken and some of the still shots of the beautiful quilts. I do hope I do you hope guys you. enjoy the um, video to come. And I, again, I thank you so very much for following me and um, coming along with me to the quilt show because I went by myself. But I was good and I was brave and I did it. And I enjoyed it very much. All right, folks, part two. Enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, I'm here at the quilt show. I made it. Not very far from our house, actually. Just about a 20-minute ride. And I just have to say, I just have to excuse myself. My arms aren't very long. <laughs> and so this is going to be the only the only view that you're going to get of me. Um, when, my, when Jen is here, she has such long arms. She can get, like, more of us. And um, I can't. I'm, I'm extending my arm the most I can on my little tripod here. So anyway, that's that. I'm going to head into the quilt show now. This is the 2020 Cherrywood Challenge. They're, the challenge is the exact same fabrics and the exact same size and this is honoring Princess Diana. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Oh, there are so many in this exhibit as you can see. I saw Princess Diana, my husband and I were at a charity function at the Palladian Theatre in London and we were about seven foot away from her and she was just so uh, tall because <laughs> we're short people she was just so tall and her skin was just so um, glowing she was wearing a white beaded high necked jacket and dress in fact I'm sure you've actually seen the dress and jacket um, and we were just taken by how sweet she was. Yes, your candle went out long before her le legend ever will. Beautiful, beautiful quilts. And it's so touching now that 
there's a new queen. <laughs> and on the, just the last few days, our Queen Elizabeth had just died. But we'll never forget Diana. Just a lovely, lovely person whose life was snuffed out miles too soon. What a beautiful tribute. A glorious tribute to Princess Diana, the people's princess. I love the gray of this quilt here. And I just want to show you the intricate quilting that's been done. Tiny, tiny applique here. This is called cross hatching. What a beautiful job. This border is so pretty. And well done. Deborah Haggy in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Not too far from here. Magnificent. This is a um, display of small quilts, the same size, look about 24 inches, um, all, all different animals, all different species. And I'm just gonna do a video of these animals. Of the, I've taken photographs of them. I hope you enjoy this. Beautiful, dozens and dozens of them.
So this entire row on the back wall here, going all the way down there to over there, this is the Hoffman Challenge. And again, every year, Hoffman Fabrics selects four or five different fabrics. and then you can flesh it out with whatever design you wish to and there's a certain size and this is what people come up with but it's some it's difficult sometimes to pick out the fabrics but sure enough they're all there and the imaginative things that people come up with look yes it's obviously that deep purple floral but look at their interpretations of this fabric that's pretty my poinsettia Pauline Dauphin in Arizona used the florals again this is the Hoffman challenge every one of these quilts is using the exact same fabrics or combination of and then interpreting it yeah oh, that's pretty yeah I love the color it's like Mickey Mouse ears <laughs> this is more traditional this is Oh, postcard. Greetings from Idaho, the gem state. That's so <laughs> fabulous. Fabulous. Look at that. Ah. Oh, there's a uh, workshop, something going on over there. That's what you hear in the back. Again, tons of Hoffman Challenge. And this is the uh, this is the convention center. So there's somebody there, sitting there. Oh, these are pretty over here. Now, what were these? A bunch of faces. <laughs> now, what is this? Oh, different, oh, different faces.
find it. But these were the fabrics. 20 piece collection. Huh. They had to use, it's a, it's a collection of five different fabrics, digital fabrics. Challenge to make something, yes. Their works of art were judged and selected to travel. Awesome. And these are some of the works of art, the wearable art, using the Hoffman Challenge. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. The fur-lined sleeveless jacket. Louise Davin. Wow. Davin. Birds in the Meadow, Constance Scotts, another long jacket. And of course there are those fabrics, Hoffman fabrics. A little shift dress there. Patricia James, oh beautiful jacket. Oh, I love this. I'd wear that. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? There's some more hanging. Lovely blouse. Lovely tunic. The kimono. Just beautiful. Look at that fabric treatment. Wow. Corrine Gurney. Wow, beautiful. And this is awesome, a sweatshirt. <laughs> Joyce Minnis. Ah, and this is so pretty. A lovely handbag. Barbara Heberman from Montana. Super. A lovely little tote using the Hoffman. Challenge this quote is called Moonlight Radiance. <laughs> now I believe it's one panel of fabric, but then it's been from the manufacturer. I or no, maybe not. Maybe it's piece. Yes, I'm wrong. But the way it's been quilted to within an inch of its life and radiating the quilting. Ah. Oh radiating from the center outwards to the darker yes looks like it's pieced yes this quilt was an experiment with piecing an ombre fabric into a design cindy carey moonlight radiance a stunning stunning work of art
more of the Hoffman challenge quilts. Oh. <laughs> That's so sweet. That is so sweet. Try to look up to see what the um, fabric fabrics were for the Hoffman challenge. Oh, it's lovely. Obviously the floral. Two different florals. Quilters are so creative. Look at what comes up. The same fabrics. Oh, word. Friends of the Forest. Sherry Kincaid. Oh. Dandelion dragon. <laughs> oh, it's super. life and animal life. Kiwi, of course. Hmm, super. So I've taken quite a few still pictures of these little quilts that I think deserve its own little show. We all have to be aware of what's happening on the earth. These dear animals and plant life to be extinct. If mankind carries on the way he is. So, like I said, I'm just going to do a whole little video here of all of the quotes that are on display here because I think it deserves it. A tiger beetle. Awesome. Oregon spotted frog.
So these quilts here are the same pattern and different fabrics, different colorways and different fabrics. Isn't it amazing what people come up with? <laughs> so cool. So cool. Oh, this is a lovely triptych. Charming Billy Irises by Judy Smith. <laughs> Look at the intricate quilting. Beautiful irises. I have a friend whose favorite flower is an iris. Her favorite color, obviously, is purple. <laughs> That must be really brave to make a quilt and then cut it. <laughs> cut it in thirds, because I suppose that's how it's constructed. And then finish it off, just lovely. Here's another triptych. Going to town, this one is called. Jenny Perry. Oh, that's cool. 